Welcome to another edition of the Hoop Scoop Spotlight. I'm Jared Johnson, and with this series, uh, we're actually taking a look at some veterans who are returning from, to the Texas Tech basketball roster. So often we you know, talk about all the shiny new toys, the incoming recruits, the transfers, and boy, have we ever done that um, from all types of angles. But, you know, with this spotlight, we're really looking at these veterans, these guys that are going to make the core of the team, in my opinion, uh, to go along with those those transfers and recruits, those uh, vaunted guys that are coming in. We've already talked about uh, Kevin McCullough, Terrence Shannon, Kyler Edwards, and now we're going to talk about Clarence Nadalny, a uh, sophomore guard. Uh, came in last year as a true freshman. He's originally from France, but uh, he came from uh, actually a year of, of prep ball at Scotland Performance Institute up in Pennsylvania. And Clarence uh, Nadoni is a guy who, look, he came in, I think, with high expectations. The Red Raiders were able to land him over other offers, other Big 12 offers, such as Iowa State, West Virginia. Um, Nadoni was a guy who was highly coveted and you see him, you see what he did at Scotland, you see what he's done throughout his career, and he just seems to get better and better. He got to Texas Tech and didn't play a whole lot. He played like six minutes as a true freshman, uh, averaged two points and, and a rebound a game last year. But there were times when he came in where he showed his potential and why uh, Chris Beard was interested in him uh, in the first place and also, you know, perhaps... Uh, you know, a lot of reason for hope moving forward. And, and a reason why he came back, look, there's not a lot of veterans who who, who are back on this team. And, uh, you know, Nadalny is one of them. Um, 6'3", 190. So uh, he's, he's athletic. He's a guy who there's no problem with him rising up and dunking on people. Uh, he is, uh, he, he can be a knockdown shooter, but what he really is good at is penetrating. As a matter of fact, I think that's where the future of his game is going to be, is that um, I think defenses have a hard time keeping him out of the paint. I think he, he can create for others. He can finish at the rim. He has a series of floaters. Um, you know, I think his problems are getting a little too excited. Uh, he's turnover prone. He also struggled. I saw it both in a couple practices we were we had access to, but also uh, in games he struggled at the free throw line. So I think these are all fixable things, um, you know, and no doubt Coach Beard and staff agree because, like I said, he's back for his second year. Uh, I'm expecting uh, Nadalny to play more as a sophomore, and I think he's going to bring that that ability to break defenses down and create for others. Tech's going to have uh, some more, uh, you know, deep ball threats, and then not, not only that, but guys who can cut to the rim like a McCullough, like a Shannon, uh, who who could finish once they once they get the ball. And I think uh, Nadalny. I think he has the opportunity to be a very good defensive player because of his athleticism, and and I think he can be a big facilitator. So, uh, future's bright for Nadalny, but he needs to come on. He does need to continue his development, and I can't wait to see uh, how that plays out for his sophomore season. But with that, I want to thank you for watching, and until next time.